So my name's James. This is my Cayman GT4. Today we're in the Yorkshire Dales for a supercar driver uh, magazine shoot, which I'm very excited about. Um, one of my first, so I'm um, looking forward to the day. Life as a SCD member has been great. Um, I think the amount of events that you guys do is exceptional so there's so much choice and i'm really excited about 2020 so the two events i've been on the croft track day and the tom hartley uh, barbecue were brilliant turnouts uh, well organized and really fun events and i'm just really looking forward to meeting other members and taking the car out for longer drives um, in 2020. i've loved cars ever since i was little even having little toy cars ever since i was like four or five If anyone asked my mum what, what's James doing, even when I was like a little kid, was always playing with cars. Um, throughout, like when I, was, I could learn to drive from 17, I went to the car auctions and I used to buy and sell cars and I used to always try and build up money and cash so I could invest in a, a better car all of the time. Um, so I remember like the first like faster car I had was a Renault Clio Sport uh, 172. I bought a um, Mercedes C-Class, like an, an older one that I bought from auction, and then I drove it all the way down to Essex because it was just within my price range to get a Renault Clio 172 Sport. And uh, it had like 88,000 miles on and I drove it off the drive from this council estate in Essex and uh, it broke down literally around the corner. And it took me about uh, 15 hours to get back from Newcastle on different breakdown trucks. So that was uh, one of my first experiences with buying like a sports car. I've always had a love for Porsches in general, so it's not my first Porsche. I had a Porsche Cayman in black when over around about seven eight years ago that was an entry level Porsche to, to get me on to Porsche ownership um, so I got that car when I was like 24 25 when I could literally afford the insurance because it was quite high at the time I loved that car and um, then I moved on to uh, when I got back into Porsches again I had a 911 that had like two owners from new and uh, that was like again a really good car I managed to take that around the track and Croft which was an interesting experience because it actually handled quite well but obviously not as good as the GT4 when, when I took that round to Croft it was a, a total different machine so I've always had a love of Porsches in general and I think um, I always keep going back to that even though I've had different cars within that period uh, Aston Martin DB9 which I really did not enjoy at all I think for a younger driver like myself that's um, it took all of the experience out of it. It sounded great as a V12 engine. The actual driving experience was nowhere near as much as uh, fun as a GT4. So this is my first GT Porsche and I think one of many as well now I've got the bug. I was looking on uh, Auto Trader for quite some time and uh, different car websites to look for GT4s within the budget of just under 100k. Um, I was trying to get into that type of special, like super carish status and uh, something a little bit more unique. And uh, GT4 came about from Porsche Bolton. They had a Voodoo Blue, so it was actually the Voodoo Blue I'd went to see. And then round the corner from the showroom was the Birch Green car with the black wheels and the red brake discs and the red seatbelts and it just totally blew me away. And it wouldn't have been a car colour that I would have went for initially, but when I seen that in the flesh, I just fell in love with it straight away. And it, it, it had the wow factor for me. The spec of the car, uh, for me, it had to have uh, the red stitching around the Alcantara steering wheel and the red uh, seatbelt. That was quite important to me, so it stood out. The biggest thing on the car is is the paint, the sample paint in terms of the birch green colour. That's the main thing that stands out in terms of the spec. Everything else is pretty much standard within the car. Exhaust sounds great when you put the exhaust button on it. The sound, the colour um, and the red stitching, those were the three aspects that just really stood out for me. <laughs> It 
doesn't have ceramic brakes, which I know is an option, but I think uh, when Neom showed it was around about £10,000, so um, there's not many cars with the ceramic brakes, and I've had mixed reviews when I've looked on the forums, um, particularly if I, I use the car as a weekend car as well, so I'm not tracking it all of the time. Uh, so really it, it was an extra that I, I could live without. I bought the car with 9,700 miles and I think I've done 2,000 miles in just under nine months. So <laughs> I haven't traveled too much. Uh, I think the longest journey I've had the car on is uh, here to the Yorkshire Dales. I'm really looking to take advantage of some of more of the supercar driver events. Um, I would love to do the Porsche GT drive, especially if that's going to be across Europe. I think that would be a fantastic experience. It just makes you feel special every time you get in the car, especially because I only use it on weekends and a rarity. It always feels nice getting into the bucket seats, getting in and feeling the, the Alcantara sports wheel, the manual shift gearbox, and the sound and the rasp of the exhaust. Actually getting compliments all of the time with the colour has been really refreshing because I've had, like I said, 911s before, um, had a DV9 and you get some people that are like, oh wow, lovely car, or look at him driving that car, who does he think he is? But with the GT4 and that colour, Every comment has been, wow, what a lovely colour, what a great car. And people just like compliment it all of the time, which is, which is really nice. Porsches in general, to me, are like, um, it's the main car that I relate to. It is a real driver's car. So when I've had, uh, probably the closest thing I've had, like in terms of drivability, which, which, which some listeners are, uh, viewers might laugh at was a Mini Cooper S, so I got that when I was like 22. And it was a, a new Mini Cooper S in lightning blue with the John Cooper Works kit on. And I just remember I used to be like a, a boy racer back when I was 21, 22. No one could beat me on the little uh, B roads because it was just so rapid, but you felt so secure in the car that you could take it to its limits around the corner and you could never lose it. The GT4 like has great power. Yes, it's not the fastest of cars, um, but the handling is exceptional, so I always feel like I've got control of that car. And that's the main thing for me when I'm driving a car and I want to take it to its limits. The actual drive of the, the feedback through the steering wheel and the, the manual gearbox and the rawness of the sound of the car um, is, is what makes it a great driver's car. And that's why I would always have, I think, a Porsche in my car collection. <laughs> I've had so many offers, even on Instagram, and former keepers of this car have come back to me and, and said, James, like, I miss that car so much. Could I please buy it back off you? Or when you are looking to change it, make sure you come to me first. Um, and it's really rare because I get bored of cars so easily. So I change cars like every six, 12 months. And I feel like it's the first car I've ever had in all of the cars that I've had where I, I still love it every day and I don't feel I would ever get bored of it because it, the, the drivability of it, the rareness in the car as well, so one of the key things for me, it holds its value. So I've, I've, I've lost lots of money on cars in the past and getting a GT car that's really rare, especially in a, a PTS colour as well, it makes it more enjoyable because you know you're driving it and it's, it, I'm probably going to get a similar amount of money back for the car even in a year's time, two years time. So the next step for me might be GT3, um, but again it would have to be a special colour. Um, for me to look on for, I would definitely want another uh, paint or sample colour if I could get one. 